Hi. This was the last vlog I filmed before I fell deeper into postpartum depression and lost all creative momentum. I'm still struggling with it today, especially with a high needs baby, but I'm learning how to navigate my emotions while learning to be a mom, embracing that beginner's mind Japanese concept so hard right now to not put so much pressure on myself. What's your name? What's your name? How old are you? Wow. You put the ornaments on the tree, honey. We have so many. Look at that. <laughs> There's a house. We decorated our tree even though we would be gone for Christmas, but that's because Yuna still will open Christmas gifts before we travel. If you want to see our travels, I filmed every day for Instagram. Coming soon. Our small light is broken, so we have to use this light, this horrible, horrible light. Mmm, mm, this is oatmeal and berries. You love it though. <laughs> Mommy needs to wipe this. Oh no, Yuna, don't throw it. <laughs> I hate the mess. <laughs> you with the spoon. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa, you're not done. Don't throw the mitt. Nah. Is that how you're gonna eat your food from now on, huh? Mommy got some on her clothes. Oh no. Say, mmm. Say, the most annoying toy in the world. Dance, dance, dance. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> loves this toy. This toy has these little pulley things on it. It's like a Montessori tool. You can um, pull things, you can push things. And she just puts it right into her mouth. weekend we decided to check out a zoo we haven't been to before which was Tama Zoo and I swear to you don't go unless you really need a workout because this one has hills for days. I was very sore the next day but I will have to say that this is one of the better zoos in Japan as the animal enclosures are a bit larger and actually in the mountains so it felt like I was on a nature walk the entire time. I don't think Yuna was too impressed. She seemed to analyze everything at this age which is expected but we enjoyed it. And we're already at the zoo and it's so hilly. We're already tired and we just walked in. What is this? Come on, we're gonna get a workout today. <laughs> we found a changing space. We found a changing space and now you're all clean. This is my breakfast while she watches Miss Rachel. Is it your birthday? <laughs> strawberries. The first strawberries of the season. Yeah. Mm. I have to be really quiet because this apartment like echoes. I'm just getting ready because I'm supposed to meet a friend at the mall and I really want to get her a gift. It's kind of weird taking your baby to get her Christmas gifts, but she's not going to remember. Sorry, I'm like cleaning my ears on camera. Just took a shower, hence the wet hair, so I need to dry my hair. But she doesn't wake up soon because she's been taking really short naps and I have to like put her back to sleep. My personal mission is to transform, to really find a lifestyle that makes me feel good while taking care of a child, which is hard to do. I'm kind of in that experimentation stage, trying new things, trying to see what works for my routine. As some of you know, I'm not a huge fan of routines because routines can put you in autopilot and you really want to focus on your needs versus doing something the same time, same thing every day. You want to ask yourself like, how do I feel? What do I need today? What would make me feel high vibe today? Base your routine, your routine off of that. So some of you guys who have taken my course know that Again, like I have like a specific way of doing a routine, so I'm kind of in the experimentation stage right now. Hopefully through these diaries and documentation, I'll be able to share with you my transformation, inspire you to do the same, share with you the hard moments, let you know that it's okay to not be perfect in this journey. And I look like crap and I should not talk to myself that way either. I need to put my makeup on and dry my hair before she wakes up.
Oh no. Even though being a first time mom has been tough, I'd like to say that I've been able to hang in there by finding moments in my day to get out of the house, even if it's just me and my daughter, and write down or just think about what I felt my daughter and I both got out of the day. What were the silly moments, the happy moments, the new moments that we both experienced that encourages both of our growth as human beings. We're back at Nishmatsi, I think. <laughs> and mommy's gonna buy more clothes because she has a baby clothes addiction. Baby clothes addiction. Oh my God, that's so freaking cute. No way. The seat, the bottoms though, she's gonna, her ankles yeah. are gonna stick out. You know, what do you think? Mommy has a problem. You need pants, you need separate. Yeah, those are cute. We're shopping again. thousand times so now <laughs> our our shopping trip has just been that that's it it's changing diapers